uh, we're doing a strut remove and replace using a bound tool for German cars. It's usually it's for when you do sprints on the rear of the BMWs or Mercedes without taking the rear apart. It compresses on the vehicle. This is the tool I'm using for this car because it can't secure the strut mount on the strut power that we have here. So we're going to uh, start doing this and the first thing we want to do is we want to mark the strut tower with the spring and the mount. Why? Because if you put this on a different direction and you put it back on the car, you'll be very unhappy because you got to take it apart again. In some vehicles, they have bearings on them, Toyotas, Nissans, where you can rotate this. And it doesn't matter which way you put it because you can always rotate it as many times as you like. On this one, it's only one way. So let's mark it from the bottom. I'm gonna try to make it as straight as possible. Okay, so we have to mark there, that way we don't have to do it three, four times. Now let's get the tool here, okay? This tool is pretty neat to say, it's not meant for this vehicle, but it's gonna help me, okay? Got a ratchet with a 21, pretty quick. Start spinning it. Always, they say you can do it with air. I mean, some guys do it with air guns. Some guys do it with electric guns. I like to do it with, by hand, just to be more, uh, you know, safe. I will, I will, I will wear glasses, but uh, I already have them, so that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so when it goes slow, as the spring is compressing. Safety first, always make sure where you put your hands in this thing. You can already see here that it's already spinning, so that's a good point. And right here, it's not coming up the strut, but it's okay. Okay, we already have enough slack where we can take the, the strut assembly off. So we're gonna go ahead and move this boot here. Get the spice grips. Now, this is something that you don't want to do when you're installing it, just because it's not professional and you can uh, mark the, the shaft of the strut going up and down on the new one. So I'm gonna get the air gun. Okay, and this I believe it's a 19. We have a 17 socket here and there you go. Okay. Actually, it's an 18. We have a 22 here. You have an 18 over there, Maverick? Okay. This is a shop, so we have everything organized. So, we go ahead and take this off. All right, so it's off. Okay, now remember, this thing spawned on me already, so I wouldn't know how it's gonna go back, but that's why I marked it, remember? Okay, we take the strut mount off. Now this is the fun part, where the strut is still on it. So I'm gonna get a hammer, please. This is when you gotta be careful when doing this type of work. Okay? So just by hitting that, I was able to remove it. Okay? This is the old strut, as you can see. This is why we're replacing it. It's not just because, you know, you want to get it actually leaking or blown. A lot of noise going down the road. We have a new strut here. Thank you. New knot. Okay? Now, I'm not done with this one yet. I want to see exactly where I marked it and make it as, as close as possible. It's 
it's not gonna be right where it was, but I know I have a reference point at least. Okay, we put this back on there. Alrighty, now it goes back in here. Okay. And I know what you guys are thinking, you don't need to mark it. The struts already built into where the spring sits here. It's, it's pretty obvious, same with the strut mount. For to say, if you make it a habit, you're gonna have a better lock installed on it. Okay, so this is where we had a problem last time. Okay, it's already in there. Okay. I wanna see my marks here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it's pretty close, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, if I can get my shaft in there. Thank you. Finger tight first. Okay. Finger tight. I'm just looking for the, the direction of the, of the strut. Okay, so now you can see that we're perfectly lined up there, as close as we want it to be. Okay. Now we go ahead and do this. Okay, you got it in there. Now, this is the trick, guys. This is, this is a neat tool, Key Wrench makes it. What it does is that it allows you to put something in here to hold the shaft. That way we don't use bias strips and damage the shaft. Okay, so let's put our Allen key in here. Wow, actually fits in there. And now I don't have to hold the shaft with bias grips. I can just go in like this. Isn't that neat? Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's check the alignment on this thing. Okay. That's pretty good to me. That's gonna give me a better point of installation. So go ahead and back this up. Just be careful. Still has a compression, still it's a compressed spring, so you never know. Back it up, back it up. Slowly. Okay. And by the use of this tool, it made my life a lot easier. Okay. You can see that there, and we're good to go. Thank you.